Let's have a look how I made my balance spring. Hey guys, Shark here. Stop. Stop. In this video I want to talk a little bit more how I made my balance spring, the shaping of the balance spring. It's not that hard but it does take a little bit of time and patience to get to something that works. So let's have a look. This is kind of the idea of the shape we want, spiral. To shape the hairspring there's two videos that I found on YouTube that shows some techniques. Most complete one it's inspired by a book also that you can find online. And the idea once you have your wire. <laughs> Yo. This is a piano wire. I'm going to put the end in a little vise like this that I can clamp on the bench. Then I have that end here. Having the vise just helps having a steady position. And then with some pliers, something like this, you pinch and as you pull to the end you twist and it gives a roll to the to the wire. And then it starts to bend. Hard to see. Yeah. <laughs> so the more more you twist, the sharper the bend will be. And the thing about that method, I find it really hard to control the bend every time. After doing some experiment, I find something that worked better for me. So the easier technique that I found by experimenting is having some flat pliers like this. Hold the wire and then with the finger roll, roll the wire till it gets the bend. You don't want to push too hard too close to the pliers, otherwise it's going to do a it's going to do a sharp bend like this. The thing is push and push as you go out. So to roll it and then move the pliers a little bit and keep pushing and then change the angle. This will be the shape you want. So I'm going to hold and then I'm going to push. Taking off the something, push, then take a little bit more, push, and it's not moving, so push a bit harder. I don't push too hard near the pliers, but I push as I'm going out. You want to keep that area a nice bend and not make an angle just out of the pliers. And 
No. The radius is too big here. No, it's a bit too small here. So I want this to be a little bit more. No, those are things, those bends is something you want to avoid. Idly, you want the first loop to match the inside diameter balance wheel and this 3D printed one is about as good it can be if I match my start with this you can see the first loop would look good starting here and I can keep going from here, keep going. This is very <laughs> choppy. <laughs> Having the angle with the camera makes it a little bit awkward. But yesterday I was doing this. You can start practicing with some non non spring wire makes the shaping easier. The thing is and it would work for a balance spring but it's much easier to deform it by accident. Whereas this once it's shaped Pull it out and it will come back where it is so it's much sturdier and that's why once you have it completely assembled This is pretty resistant and it will come back to where you shaped it for. This is a 0.4 piano wire for this example. This is a 0.5 and it's the one I'm using in my clock 0.5. Yes, it can be done. It can be done. Just go slow, little by little. Do a little bit one day and then let it sit, do something else. Come back to it and <laughs> keep going. And you'll, you'll end up with something that works. Okay, I hope uh, you'll find this video helpful 
there'll be more on the tuning I'll talk more about the tuning of the balance wheel, escape wheel uh, assembly okay stay tuned please like subscribe and I'll see you in next video thank you for watching bye